The ability to predict manufacturing outcomes is going to enable us to provide essential feedback to our design partners and to enable us to concurrently engineer the product design and the manufacturing process so that we can dramatically reduce the product development time schedules. I'm really excited about CompMat given that this technology is starting to be more cutting edge and so with the advance of uh, computers and speed and capabilities we're starting to be able to use these atomistic simulation codes to really address material properties that haven't been trusted before or even addressed before just because we didn't have the computational uh, capabilities to do so. You're identifying the relationships from the processing parameters all the way up to your performance of the material and you're doing that through integrating uh, people uh, through across different interdisciplinary subjects uh, especially materials through data whether that be experimental or simulations, as well as different models and different length scales, so from the molecular scale all the way up to the macro scale. I am on the macro scale processes like welding and forging, uh, and applying CompMat tools to those means connecting process design parameters with material specifications, and that's not something that we've uh, really done in the past. So connecting the performance of a weld, for example, on a part with the actual microstructure and imperial specifications that might change that during processing. Our atomistic simulations focus on small length scales of say 10 to 100 atoms, while our continuum simulations focus on part level, which is uh, millimeters to meters. And so I'm responsible in trying to find out do we have simulations and capabilities to address all the length scales in between. From developing with the combat team to identify the chemistry variations that affect polymer aging and the adverse effects of polymer aging. As you would guess, a, a long experiment as the effects of aging take time. With our models, we're able to try to uh, expedite that. We're starting to apply a lot of really new tools to problems that we've never been able to examine in any other way, but with lots of testing, which involves a lot of material dollars and a lot of labor. So this allows us to test a lot of things virtually, which we've just never had access to. The idea is to holistically understand our materials up front so that when issues come down later in the road, we can quickly address those from a science-based manufacturing standpoint. So we don't want to be caught with a problem where we're just turning knobs and kind of guessing, trying to resolve that problem. We want to know it and understand it fundamentally so that we know exactly what knobs we need to turn to fix uh, problems of interest. Computational tools like ICME will enable us to make the right decisions faster. Being able to make the right decisions at the right time will enable us to accelerate our overall product and production development schedules.